What's good, everybody? Summon Husker here again, live for another episode of the Air Force Dynasty Season 5, Game 4 versus the number 7 rated Stanford Cardinal. It's a beautiful day in Colorado Springs as the Stanford Cardinal come east to play against the Air Force Falcons in a dynamic matchup in the Pac 12 North. As you take a look at the standings, you see that there are four teams ranked in the top 11. Washington leads them at number three. Oregon is fourth. Stanford is seventh, and Air Force is 11th. Air Force and Stanford are out to a 2-0 start here in the Pac-12 North. While Washington and Oregon have yet to play a Pac-16 game. But it's going to be a dandy. You can see these two teams, they have been competing. The last two champions in the Pac-16 North have been Stanford and Air Force. And the Air Force Falcons are beginning to come onto the field. They're wearing the black uniforms with the gray helmets. Stanford in the traditional all whites. It's a ranked clash between two Pac-16 powers here in Colorado Springs. Coach Shaw leads the Cardinal. And Coach Willie Andrew, in his fifth season, leads the Air Force Falcons in this rebuild. You are looking live at Falcon Stadium, the nest as they like to call it, here at the base of the Colorado Rockies, here in Colorado Springs, as the Air Force Falcons start today's game, ranked number 11 in the country, versus the number 7 rated Stanford Cardinal. We pick it up here, third down and 12. Mitchell looking, looking, looking finds a man it's Williams Williams has a first down he's across midfield and tackled at the 46 yard line after 18 yards third down and five now Mitchell throws a little quick out he's got Bowman Bowman across the 30 and knocked out of bounds of the 28 yard line this defense is hitting hard third down and one it's Jones he's carrying Muhammad for a four yard game and they're in business it's third down and five now Mitchell looking oh he's gonna hit get hit twice hit a third time and I think he's sacked. Yes, he is. The field goal gets Stanford a 3-0 lead, but here Air Force comes right back with the little flag route to Hicks, and that's a huge gain of 27 yards into Stanford territory. Battle, looking, looking, looks. He finds Morris with an outstanding grab at the 11, a 15-yard gain by the Blitnikoff winner. Battle now keeps it on the zone read. He has a block out to Wiley, and he's going to score. He leaps in the end zone, 13 yards. Tom Battle gives Air Force a 7-3 lead. Here just in the second quarter, Mitchell looking again. It's going to be a sack by Demetrius Darius. Another sack for this Air Force team, and they force a punt. Now Battle hits Campbell on a little stick route. He's got 9. They're going to give him 10. Battle now facing a 3rd and 7 midway through the second quarter already. Battle rolls to his right. He's got Brooks. Brooks catches it at the 30. He's up to the 40, and he's pushed out of bounds. A first down gain of 12 yards. Now another third down and nine on this drive. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Battle rolls to his right again. He throws it downfield. He's got Morris. Morris with another completion of 14 yards. Battle rolls right again. Looking, looking, trying to find someone. He sees Morris. he got it inside the 20, inside the 10, and he's down at the one. But they can't do anything and are forced to kick a field goal here late in the second quarter and he knocks it through giving them a 10 to 3 lead we pick it up here in the second half with 522 left battle likes to roll to his right he finds brooks coming back to his left and he's carrying a guy for five yards a huge gain down inside the stanford cardinal territory this time he finds a man no it's morris and he drops it morris dropped the sure touchdown so Battle comes back over the ball. They get the signal. They're going to go no huddle, and I think they're going to come back at the same exact play. Or maybe it's a bubble. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. Oh, it's going to be a quick screen. Looking, finds it. He sees Morris. Throws it out there. Morris trying to get to the edge. He does, and he gets seven. Third down and three now with just under five minutes left. As Stanford trying to hold on their defense doing a pretty good job leading here air force is leading here 10 to 3 with just under five minutes left here in the third quarter the cardinal and the falcons always play tight games 
Morris is already close to 70 yards on the day. Battles 13 of 18 for 170. So this brings up a third down and three. It's a give. Bolden's going to get the edge, and he's going to get a first down by four or five yards. An eight-yard rush gets it first down and 10 for Matt Bolden. Not a great day running so far for him, as we now are under four minutes and 30 seconds. Air Force comes over the ball. Looks like they're in a four-vert set battle. Barks out the signal, sees two high safeties. He looks at the tight end. He's got the tight end. He threw it late across the middle, and Dobinsky is going to get an interception, and he's going to be brought down at the three-yard line. A crucial mistake. Second down and 10, and he doesn't get out of the end zone. It's a safety. A gigantic play there, making it 12-3 to three on the ensuing drive. Battle looks, trying to find someone. This lofts it up there. The, the guy misses the interception, and Parnum comes down with a 21-yard reception. Now it's a first down and 10, 254 left. They throw the bubble pass out there to Parnum. Parnum's got five. He's got 10. Tries to back juke, but he gets knocked down after a 14-yard gain. And they're inside the red zone. Battle now looks, throws across, and it's picked off by Muhammad. Muhammad's down the sideline. Battle falls down. One man to beat. It's Peterson. The big ugly pushes him out of bounds at the 30-yard line. But the... Air Force defense holds. Now Battle gets the zone keep, and he's going to go. He's inside the 40. He's inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line, 30 yards on that run. Battle now sees. He's got Morris. Morris catches at the 10, spins inside, breaks a tackle, touchdown. Falcons, they lead 19-3. to Here's a run. The ball's on the turf. Sheldon picks it up at the 40. There's no one that's going to get him. He's across the 30. He's across the 20. 10, 5, leaps at the pylon. Touchdown, Air Force. And Air Force extends their lead to 26 to 3 here in the th fourth quarter. Mitchell looking, trying to find a man. He's got Mike Williams. He's got it. Touchdown, Cardinal. They go for two and do not get it. The onside kick fails as well, and now Battle faces a third and three. He finds Hicks. Hicks pulls over a man at the 10-yard line, 17 yards, 26 to 9. Battle looks. He sees Wiley. Wiley's got it. Touchdown, Jake Wiley. The Cardinal trying to make another last effort. Mitchell throws a pick. It's Page. Page has got it, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. The second turnover forced there by the Falcons. First down and 10, Battle drops back again. He sees a man short, but he's gonna wait for a guy to clear in the opening. It's Wiley, Wiley's got at the five yard line, brings up a first down and goal with a minute 18 left. 33 to nine, the give to Bolden, Bolden's hit, he's in, touchdown, 40 to nine, and that's your final. They beat the top 10 rated Cardinal on their home field, and now are in control at three and oh. In the Pac-16 North, Air Force, 40, Stanford, 9. A gigantic game today by the defense. They were put in a couple bad spots, but they were able to keep the Cardinal out of the end zone. Meanwhile, their offense did just enough. Converted two turnovers for 14 points. Morris had a great day. Here's that play where he catches it on the sideline, spins off the tackler, breaks a tackle, and drags a guy in the end zone. This year, the Cardinal had goals of repeating as the Pac-16 conference champions, but Air Force has bigger goals. They want the Pac-16, but they also want the biggest goal of all, and that is the national championship. This team is loaded offensively. There's no doubt in my mind that they will compete for a national title if they continue to play at this level on both sides of the ball. That's going to do it. Season 5, Game 4 is complete. Check out the channel, Summit Husker Gaming, on Twitch and YouTube.